So anytime there's Power Rangers news, I get excited, especially if it's movie news. I know some people didn't like the 2017 Power Rangers reboot, but I liked it. And you know what? I hope there would have been a sequel. But if this recent news ends up being true, this will be some of the best news that comes out of 2020. But before we get to that, guys, make sure to hit that like button because liking these videos lets me know that you love them. And if you want to see more videos just like this one, hit that subscribe button notification bell so you don't miss any new videos. Let's get to the news. It has been reported from Illuminati that the upcoming Power Rangers movie from Hasbro and Paramount will feature time travel, an expanded Ranger team, a female lead, Lords that is the villain, and the biggest news of all, it will actually take place within the same continuity as a television show, meaning that all the previous seasons and characters will have existed in the world Hasbro was bringing to the film. Back in May, I did a video about a potential Power Rangers TV show of a more mature nature, but this new movie news definitely takes the cake. Let's break down the details. Let's talk about the details surrounding time travel and Lord Zed. It's no surprise really that Lord Zed would be the next baddie to be in a live action Power Rangers movie. In the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers TV series, Zed is the second big bad villain the Rangers face after Rita Repulsa. In the 2017 Power Rangers reboot, Elizabeth Banks portrayed Repulsa. This movie is said to focus a lot on the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers era. The original Mighty Morphin Power Rangers TV show aired from 1993 to 1995 and had a theatrical movie released and is to me the more popular time in Power Rangers history that fans enjoy. The report goes on to say that the movie will have a new team of Rangers that will be sent back in time by Zordon to the Mighty Morphin era and while Lord Zed will be the main villain, that doesn't mean that it couldn't be later in the Mighty Morphin era, meaning we could perhaps see older versions of our favorite characters make an appearance, like Austin St. James recently did in the current Power Rangers Beast Morpher series on Nickelodeon. The report says because of the time traveling element, the movie will feature multiple different looks and Zords throughout Ranger history. This could possibly include a variety of suits and Zords from Mighty Morphin Power Rangers all the way to the modern era. Rangers from Power Rangers past are no strangers to showing up in various seasons of the TV series. As I said before, OG Red Ranger Austin St. John has made an appearance in the current Power Rangers Beast Morphers, but he's also shown up as the Gold Ranger in 1996's Power Rangers Zeo, 1997's Turbo a Power Rangers Movie, and 2002's Power Rangers Wild Force. Jason David Frank, who played Tommy Oliver in the series, has been the most prominent throughout and has shown up in eight different seasons of the Power Rangers and has been in both movies from the 90s. Next, let's talk about the expanded team and female lead. The report talks about an expanded team and a female lead for the Power Rangers. It is said that the all-new Ranger team will not necessarily be limited to just five Rangers, and it will include an original lineup of heroes. Hasbro was also looking to create a truly diverse cast, which will include different races and members of the LGBTQ community. It is also said that there are plans to cast a female lead. The Power Rangers have generally been a diverse group, with the Mighty Morphin team being made up of Caucasian, African American, and even Asian members. It's good that we're possibly getting a female leader of the team. There hasn't been a female lead since the white Aquatar Ranger Delphine, who led the Alien Rangers and Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. Given that the Paramount Power Rangers movie is said to be a reboot, and not so much a sequel to Lion Gate's 2017 Power Rangers, could Hasbro and Paramount be looking to use the rumored time travel element as their way to have a Flashpoint in their own movie? There's been much talk in the DC world of the upcoming Flash movie being used to undo or erase much of what has been done in the past DC films, so that a clean slate can be made for the DCU. Could Hasbro and Paramount be doing the same thing and using the time travel element to undo the 2017 film and possibly other parts of the Power Rangers universe? Hasbro could have reasons to use a Power Rangers movie to reboot the franchise. It was also reported by the Luminarity that Hasbro recently ended their partnership with Toei, which breaks ties with Super Sente, the backbone of what makes the US Power Rangers shows they're based on. With Hasbro not having that resource, they could take the Power Rangers in another direction, including a more mature TV show like the one I talked about in a previous video, an animated series, which at the moment, I don't know if I like too much, although if it were like Batman animated series or Justice League, then maybe. Or if the movie is successful, then maybe just a new movie franchise. Hasbro sells a lot of toys, and since they've been selling a lot of retro toys from the Mighty Morphin era, that has really grown the Power Rangers fan base. So they're gonna do whatever it takes to keep that going. So what do you think about this news of a Power Rangers movie reboot? Does it get you excited? Are you happy about the time travel element, Lord Zed being the villain, and a female lead? Let me know in the comments below. And that's it for this video, guys. If you enjoyed it, make sure to hit that like button. If you want to see more videos just like this one, hit that subscribe button notification bell. And I'll see you guys next time on The Mashup.